What are the best value e-bikes for 2022? Right in, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and this week we are looking at the best value e-bikes between 4,000 and 6,000 euros. We all know the market has gone crazy with 10, 12, 15,000 euro e-bikes. So is it still possible to buy a good value e-bike? Yes, it is. And check out the studio. Who's loving the new setup? Finally, it's happened, and Bay is an absolute legend. She's allowed me to turn our bedroom into a studio and my new garage and i think it looks really cool and i'm super excited now to not have to set up a studio every time i want to shoot so that means more content is coming october is e-bikes buyer's guide at sam's bikes and it's a long month let me tell you last week we did the best new e-bikes on the market this week is the best value and the next coming weeks will be the best enduro best trail and best super light so if this sounds like information that you wanna get, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and tell your mates, because it really does help the algorithms and helps me out here. And if you're liking this information, we've got even more information over at samsbike.net, the world's first e-bike finder. Okay, so we're on the homepage, Sam's Bikes. You'll see best electric e-bikes of 2022, best trail bikes, best enduro bikes, and soon to come best super light bikes. And you can also search by the bike finder. You fill out the five simple questions and hit submit. And it comes up with three bikes that I recommend after you put in your details. And you can also see the price of all three bikes, the weight when the weight is available, the motors, the batteries, the forks, the suspension, the brakes, the wheel size, the head tube angle, the reach, the chain state, and the seat tube angle. So all the information that I really look for when I'm buying that e-bike. I think it's a really interesting and easy way for you to search for your e-bike. And a massive shout out to Schwabi, the long-term sponsor of Sam's Bikes. If you're getting a new bike, make sure you get some Schwabis. Now onto the best value e-bikes for 2022. And this has been a hard list for me to get together. It's actually taken me about five days to write this because there's so many good, new, reasonably priced e-bikes on the market. And I know everyone out there is passionate about their e-bikes, and I'm sorry if I missed a couple of bikes that you guys think are great value. Put them in the comments below, and I'll definitely check them out. And we're gonna kick it off with Enduro e-bikes. I haven't actually picked that many online brands this year. I'm actually finding it harder to recommend online bikes these days because the price of online has gone up and the traditional bike shops have come down. Anyway, these are the online e-bikes that I still think are great value in 2022. Canyon Torque on eight, 4,799 euros. I love the Torque on, and if you're looking for a big, big Super Enduro e-bike for under five grand, this is a go. Rolling on 27.5 wheels, 180 mils of travel up front and 175 in the rear. Shimano EP8, 500 watt battery with the option to buy an extra battery. Reach in a large 485, super short chain stays 430 and a 63 and a half degree head tube angle. And let's have a look at the build. RockShox suspension, Shimano four pot brakes and running gear. DT Swiss wheels, Maxxis tires. I think for the money, the Canyon is very good value and very well spec'd, very smartly spec'd for this type of bike. Propane Akano, 5,000 euros. The most customizable e-bike in the game. You want a mullet? You want a 27? You want a 29? No problem, you can do it. 165 millimeters of travel in the rear, starting from 5,000 euros for a nice build, but you can build it up with really nice spec for just under six with 38s, X2, MT7 brakes, and Shorby tires. The Akano is coming with a Shimano EP8 and a 500 watt battery. I think it's a great option for someone that really wants to customize their e-bike. Vitus E-Summit 297 VRS, 5,400 euros. Rolling on a mullet, 170, 167 travel with Shimano EP8, 
630 watt battery, RockShox suspension, DT Swiss wheels, Shimano brakes and gears, reach in a large 478, chain stay 442, head tube angle 64, Wow, just looking at that geometry, I want this bike. I think probably this is the best value with the best geometry with a 630 watt battery on the market. And one of the most asked questions is why isn't the YT decoy in the list? Well, because I bought my decoy and it's a great bike in 2019 for 4,400 euros. Now the similar spec bike with the same battery, updated motor, is 5,800 euros. And I don't think that represents good value. Okay, now onto the bike shop Enduro e-bikes. Giant Rain E Plus 2, 5,499 euros. The new Giant is a beast. I rode the old one, but this is one hell of an update. Rolling on mullet wheels, 170, 160 suspension, Zebs, DPX2, SRAM running gear and brakes, New Yamaha PW3 motor and a 625 watt battery. Reach in a large 474, chain stay 454 and head tube angle 64 degrees. It's true the new Yamaha PW3 is a very, very new motor and there's not many reviews out in it. But I personally think Yamaha's in their third edition. I think they've probably got it right and hopefully Fingers crossed, I'll be testing that motor soon. High bike Enduro 7, 5,500 euros. Wow, this bike excites me. 38 X2 Magura MT7, Shorby tires, Mavic D-Max wheels, and a 750 watt battery for 5,500 euros. Wow, high bike, how are you doing this? As far as spec go on this bike, I don't think I'd change a single part. And that's saying a lot because you know I love changing stuff. The Enduro is a massive 180 front and back suspension with the new Yam P3, reach in a large 480 and chain stay 460. Head tube angle 63.5. This is definitely great value, but I would have liked to have seen the chain stay a little bit shorter and also the weight is 26 and a half kilos. Specialized Kinevo Comp, 5,800 euros. The original Super Enduro e-bike from Specialized had to get on the list. Rolling on 27 wheels, 180 mils of travel front and rear. Reach in an S4, which is kind of like a large, 495, 64 degree head tube angle, 454 chain stays. Okay, when you look at the spec on the Kinevo, it's okay, it's gonna get the job done. But what you're paying for with Specialized is the R&D and that FSR suspension system, which is awesome. I actually test rode the Kinevo for a day and I kept up with my mates, Julian and Brett in Australia, which I can never do. This bike is super fast and it allowed me to ride faster than I really should have. It's a really confident bike and I think it's great for a beginner and also a pro looking to find nasty trails. Focus Sam Squared 6.8. 5,799 euros. Sam I am, what a name, it had to make the list. 170 mils of travel front and back, 29 wheels, but with a flip chip so you can go a mullet if you want. 470 reach in a large, 64 degree head tube angle and a 450 chain stay. Bosch Gen 4 motor and a 625 watt battery. Schwabby tires. Rock Shock suspension. Jorge the Punisher actually has this exact bike and he loves it. He said, okay, the suspensions are a little basic, but he absolutely flies on this bike. And now the best value trail e-bikes, starting with online. Canyon Spectral On 6, 4,699 euros. The Spectral is a great value bike. I personally love how Canyon are making their e-bikes with short chain stays and not really over long reach. The Spectral is rolling on a mullet setup, 150 mils of travel front and rear, 465 reach in a large, 435 chain stay, and a 66.5 degree head tube angle. Shimano EP8 and a 630 watt battery, RockShox suspension and Shimano brakes and running gear. My good mate does have the entry level Spectral. He loves it and he's actually made some suspension changes and tire changes. I think he spent an extra thousand euros 
and he has a really nice bike now. Raiden Render 8, 4,400 euros. The Render is another fantastic option in the trail category from the German online bike shop. The Render is rolling on 29 wheels, 150 at the front and 140 in the rear. Bosch Generation 4 motor, 625 watt battery, 460 mil reach in a large, 458 chain stay, and a 65.5 head tube angle. Lyrics, DPX2, Magura brakes, Maxxis tires, 4,400 euros. That is a great value entry level trail bike. And my mate Kiki from Your EMTB has a few renders in stock and he is shipping Europe wide. And now to the traditional bike shop trail e-bikes. Trek Rail 5, 4,800 euros. Oh, the rail, you know I'm a fan of this bike. I tested it a few months ago. Pretty simple suspension, but it just works. It's a really fun bike to ride. And for 4,800 euros with local bike shop support from a famous brand such as Trek, this is a great deal. 160 mils of travel up front, 150 in the rear. Rolling on 29 wheels, Bosch Gen 4, 500 watt battery. Or you can go for the next model up with a 625 for 400 euros more. 465 reach in a large, 64 and a half degree head tube angle and a nice shortish chain stay for a 29er with 448. RockShox suspension, Shimano brakes and running gear. I think the rail is a great option for someone looking to start out e-bike riding and also someone looking to spec that bike up. You know, it's got great geometry, it's got a great motor and a pretty big battery if you go for the 625. And my mate Brett did that and he built an absolute beast for around, I think it was like seven or eight grand, but this thing is top spec. Cube Stereo 140, 4,449 euros. Cube has to be one of the best value e-bikes on the market, whether you're looking online or in a traditional bike shop. And the 140 is no exception. Bosch Gen 4 with a 625 watt battery for under four and a half grand and local support. Yeah, that's great value. Rolling on 29 wheels, 140 millimeters of travel front and rear, 456 reach in a large, 66 degrees head tube angle and a 457 chain stay. Rock shock suspension, Shimano brakes and running gear. Another great option for under 4,500 euros. Orbea Wild FS H30, 4,800 euros. The Wild FS was one of the most popular bike at this year's EWSE with the amateurs. And I can see why, with 160 mils of travel front and rear, it's pretty much borderlining an enduro bike. So it's making it a very versatile bike. Rolling on 29 wheels, Bosch Gen 4, 500 watt battery, but just like the Trek, you can spec up for 400 euros more and get a 625. 455 reach in a large, 455 chain stay, and a 65.5 head tube angle. Mix of RockShox and Fox suspension. The Wild FS H30 is a solid entry bike from Obeya. And lucky last, the super light e-bikes. Because the market hasn't matured yet, we're gonna to have to lift that budget to around 6,000 euros. Orbea Rise M20, 6,300 euros. The Rise is definitely one of the most popular super light e-bikes in the market. Rolling on 29ers, 150 and 140 mils of travel. Shimano EP8, but with Orbea's own software, restricting the motor to 60 nanometers with 360 watt internal battery and an optional range extender of 250 watts. Reach in a large 474, chain stay 445, head tube angle 65 and a half. Pretty good build with Fox suspension, Shimano brakes and running gear. I really like the Rise, I haven't actually tested it yet, but I wish it was 160, 150, because for me 150, 140 is not really here or there. But I have heard of people playing around with suspension going up to 160 front and back, and they're raving about it. Levo SL Comp, 6,000 euros. If you're a fan of the channel, you would know I did a long-term 1,450K review on the Levo SL. And wow, in my opinion, this is the first real e-bike and what we should push towards in the future. It doesn't feel like an e-bike. It feels like a normal bike with motor assistance. The SL is rolling on 29 wheels, 150 mils of travel front and back, 
Specialized SL 1.1 motor, 320 watts of internal battery with an optional range extender of 160 watts, 455 reach in a large, and a super short chainstay for a 29er, 437. Head tube angle 66 degrees, Fox suspension, SRAM brakes, and running gear. As I said, I love the Levo SL, it's such a fun bike. But if you are thinking about buying a super light, you should definitely go out and test one because they are quite a lot different to the full powered e-bikes. And that's it for me this week for the best value e-bikes in 2022. I hope you like it. And if you haven't subscribed to Sam's Bike, please do so because next week we're doing the top 10 enduro e-bikes for 2022. The following week, the trail bikes. The following week, the super light bikes. I'm tired thinking about it. And stay safe out there and I'm gonna see you next week.